when I well, eleven years ago when I first met my wife, she really likes food. She likes um, you know, just she likes snacks. She likes desserts. She likes all sorts of like food from different places. Um, she likes going to matjips, which is you know, like code word for like the best places, right? Mm-hmm. Korean word for um, really good eateries, and. And she, the, actually, the first date we had, um, I had recently turned vegetarian, uh, and by that I mean I had decided about four or five days prior to this <laughs> to this day that I would become a vegetarian. So we went to a coffee shop first, I think, and she was like, "What do you want after? Like, what do you want for dinner?" And I was like, well, I am now a vegetarian, which is ridiculous <laughs> because it had been four days, right? I hadn't actually really started. Yeah. But for some reason, I thought that I should tell her that I'm now a vegetarian. And, and in, in my head, I'm like, why, did I, why am I even saying this? Because I'm not a vegetarian yet, technically. But I was like, I'm a vegetarian, so I can't eat, eat any meat. And she's like, Oh, that's too bad because she really likes kogi. She really likes to eat like beef or meat. And um, I'm like, oh, this is going to be a problem <laughs> because I'm a vegetarian. Us, yeah. You know? Dedicated. Yeah, I'm a abandoned. dedicated. It's been four days. I'm a <laughs> dedicated vegetarian. I haven't had any meat in four days, right? So I'm like, oh, what do I do here? And then… You know, she ordered some cake. And here's another thing. Up to this point, I actually didn't enjoy sweet things at all. And I have a very good reason for this. Okay, I actually have a very good reason for everything. Okay, (laughs) well… They may be excuses. (laughs) All right. But I do. Um, So, here's the thing with me and sweets. When I was a kid, when I was a little kid, you know, there was a stigma, right? Like Korean parents at the time, well, at least my Korean parents, my parents uh, were against me eating anything sweet because it, it was bad for me. And because of that, I associated sweet things with something that, you know, just was bothersome to do because I would have to go against their wishes and like I would have to sneak around. Like, so it's just a big hassle. So I'm like, whatever. I'll just like, you know, I'll just. Drink the bean juice they gave me and like just eat this rice, okay? And have some kimchi and I'm fine. And um, and then in college, I was… Uh, certain circumstances led me into a psychiatrist's office. And there was a psychiatrist and a psychologist um, sitting in front of me at the same time. Uh, and, and then uh, certain, you know, tests… One led to another and and I was diagnosed with manic depression. This is for real. And uh, <clears throat> well, anyways, when that happened, they they prescribed me, you know, medication and also told me to carry around a plastic bag or like a Ziploc bag of sugar. Like they just told me to carry around a bag of sugar and um, just shove some into my mouth whenever I'm feeling like not okay. So what I'm trying to say is in college, sugar was something that to me was just like medication. You know, it was something that I associated it with my, you know, my mental state and stuff. So obviously it wasn't something that was like a joyous thing to shove in my mouth. Okay. They also told me to drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Okay. Maybe they were like employed by Coca-Cola. I don't know. <laughs> this like sounds like extremely good marketing. But anyway, so sugar became this thing where I had to take it. So I, you know, just didn't enjoy it after that. So like candy and chocolate and stuff like that, you know, I basically didn't really go for. So back to 10 years ago. So I'm sitting there with oh, 11 years ago. I'm sitting there with my uh, wife on the first date. And at the coffee shop, you know, I always considered coffee shop as some as a place to just drink coffee because I need coffee, right? <laughs> um, and I always take my coffee black, okay? 
I, I take my coffee and my truth completely without sweets. Okay? Okay, I want it straight. I want it as <laughs> Diane's like, okay. <laughs> oh, God. So I just wanted some black coffee and, you know, I'm done. But she orders like cake, you know? And like cake and all these kind of like dessert thingies. And I'm like, that's weird having dessert like before a meal, like at a coffee shop. That was like foreign to me. Okay. I've, I've seen it being done, but it, it just never registered to me as something you do. So that she orders this cake and I'm like, you know, and it's like our first date. So I take a little bit of it and I put it in my mouth because, you know, that seemed like the civil thing to do. And, and then I was going to fake enjoying it, right? But I really did enjoy it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, this is extremely good. What kind of cake was it? I, I don't think it was the cake that was the issue. I think it had been so long. Since you had sugar. Since I've, I'd had something like that. And… It was like a, it was like an awakening moment, and I was like, "Oh my god, this is really good!" Like, and then I told her, I was like, "This cake is really good," and she's like, she tries it, and she's like, "It's okay," and I'm like, "No, no, it's really good." Like, you don't understand. Like, I've, you know, it's been so long since I had anything sweet. Like, I don't like sweet things, and she's like, "Oh, you don't?" And I'm like, "Oh my god, this is gonna be a problem, right?" I'm like, "Oh my god, F- meat and sweet things. What do I do here?" And then she took me to a, like a Korean barbecue, like a kogi place. Even though you said you Even were Even though vegetarian. I told her I had been a vegetarian for I four lo- days. I love that. Okay. And I'm like, dude, I, I'm like thinking, I'm like, dude, I told you I'm, I'm a vegetarian. But, you know, maybe her thing was that she wants to eat barbecue. And if I don't want to eat it, I can just have some of the cucumber or something. I don't know. I get there and the smell of the meat, you know, you can't avoid it. Okay? So I'm like, okay, forget my vegetarian, <laughs> like, dreams. Yeah. Okay? And then I stopped being a vegetarian at that moment. You are listening to the Tableau Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>